now? Yeah, we've been doing a lot of work um, with our neighbors in this region around getting some attention for regional transportation planning. So a few years now we've been in that um, work with the province and getting their their resources put to looking at regional um, transportation. And so recently with uh, Kitchener and Waterloo, we worked on a business case um, specifically aimed at two-way go rail transit, transit right. um, between Toronto and our region, Kitchener, Waterloo and Guelph. Mm -hmm. um, right now the service is really um, it's aimed at moving commuters into Toronto, and, th and that's important, um, helping to get people off the road, providing a, an alternative to mm -hmm. having to drive on the 401. Um, but there are people that are coming this way as well, um, and a number of the businesses in the area have talked to um, us about that. They have a lot of people coming in um, to do business. Um, so what we want to see is a regular service, and it going both ways. Right. So people can move back and forth. Because right now it's heavy on the, you know, the 8 o'clock or probably yes. even earlier than that, 6 o'clock yeah. rush to get in and the 5 o'clock come yeah. home trains. But yeah. you want people coming to Guelph to do business during business yeah. hours. And part of our, um, you know, we've, been, we've crunched a lot of the numbers and we're working to, uh, to strengthen the business case. But um, we've looked at the um, companies along this corridor, the innovation companies. And uh, it's very important for that sector that there's a lot of movement and an ability to move. And we looked to the Silicon Valley in uh, California, to the south of San Francisco, and it has this regular two-way uh, rail service. Um, so it really supports the um, interchange of people, the mobility of people, of people in that sector. And so mm -hmm. that's part of it for us. So okay. we, we're describing it as the Canadian supercluster, innovation supercluster along this. So we can see um, businesses in Kitchener, Waterloo, in Guelph, and then into Toronto as well. So it's very much part of economic development sure. as well as um, providing alternative transportation for people. In the, in the region. So is that just, it's just in conversation right now? Like it hasn't We have, addressed. we met um, with uh, several ministries and the Minister for Transportation just before the holidays um, and got a very good reception. Um, so we're working uh, with our ministry counterparts to continue to push this forward. Mm -hmm. It's obviously a big commitment in terms of um, investing in the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. There would be a, a federal, a provincial and a municipal component to it. So there's a lot to work out. Okay. So, um, But uh, there's been a lot more conversation about the need to crack the transportation issue in this, in certainly in the greater Toronto area, but also our region as well. And I think people have reached a bit of a tipping point around congestion sure. and are looking for alternatives. Yeah. So um, there's been more conversations in uh, certainly out of Toronto about how do we fund this and looking at funding mechanisms. So we hope to be able to take advantage of those conversations and make sure that we promote not just the GTA yeah. and dealing with their issues, but that we're also there at the table and we're ready. And I think that's that's what this does is um, I the fact that we were um, came in in a partnership with um, others in the region was very well received because it shows that municipalities are working together on yeah. this. Um, and I think what it does is it gets us prepared in advance to be able to be at the table and part of conversations. Absolutely. We're ready, we've done our research, we've got our data, we've got our evidence, um, and so we're there to take take advantage if something comes forward. Oh good, I like that. I think yeah. that's a good conversation to be having. And then embroidery, you had a send off. Yeah, it was, yeah. you know, this week it was interesting what this community gets up to. <laughs> so the Canadian uh, Embroidery Guild, Guild of Guelph, the Guelph chapter of that organization, is is participating in um, for the home co Scotland Homecoming 2014 um, in um, this countries from around the world I think it's about 25 are all submitting um, panels with embroidery on them and the theme is how um, Scottish people have had impact around the world um, so th this group of 10 women have created this lovely panel and, and they're heading off to Scotland to be part of this bringing it all together. Um, and the panel obviously shows John Galt as yes. our, you know, one of our most famous Scottish individuals. Yeah. Um, it shows, you know, it's got lots of imagery of Guelph. It's got Tiger Dom not there. Um, it's got the corduroy road, the Hur Huron track that really oh, settled nice. the area. 
So it's it's got lots of images and icons. And I love that on idea it. though that Scotland yeah. has started that yeah. to find out how they've influenced the world. Yeah. So egocentric. It's right yeah. down my alley. <laughs> I love that. So they so th this is all going to be part of their celebrations for this year, their mm. homecoming celebrations. And then next year there is the hope that this will start this will travel around the globe. So yeah. very hopeful that we will be able to get the entire panel with all the pieces in Guelph for display. For a bit to see. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. We need to start that about Guelph and see how yeah. Guelph has influenced the world. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people interested in the cleanup for the ice storm. How is that going? Yeah, it's, um, it, it's going to take several weeks for us um, to deal with the branches and, and the down trees and limbs. Um, they're moving through various phases. The phase right now is really focusing on our parks because there's a number of um, uh, hazards in our parks. Um, so the first phase was, you know, getting the, the hazards on, obviously getting stuff off the streets and sidewalks and things like that and dealing with that pedestrian environment. Now they've moved into the parks. So it's going to okay. take um, many weeks. And, and the, you know, the, the weather hasn't helped. No. <laughs> because, no. Um, because, you know, the we do have a dedicated crew but there are other um, that help to support so if they're off on doing roads and sidewalks then we okay. have fewer on the trees etc right. so um, so that doesn't help and mm. frigidly cold weather doesn't yeah. help no, that's people no fun for them <laughs> so the the yeah. name of the game is just patience, patience. really if people yeah. can be patient you're on it you're yeah. aware of it you know that yeah. there's branches down I'm sure yeah. you've gotten lots of calls about where to go yeah. and that we just need to be patient. And for, um, on private property if you've got branches down um, you can take it for free disposal at the waste resource innovation center oh, good yeah okay, good to know thank you very much great update. My pleasure. Uh, all right if you'd like more information of course the city website's a fantastic destination we're taking a short break, Grain Farmers of Ontario. See you in a minute.